G'day guys, we're out here today at Schoolies 2019. I'm your Gold Coast Young LNP Chair, Barclay McGain, and I'm here today with Pat. G'day folks, my name's Paddy Richards, I'm the Vice Chair of the Gold Coast YLNP. We're here today in Surface Paradise in the Gold Coast, one of Australia's best cities. And we're out here today talking to the Schoolies of 2019, the young people of Australia, about what matters to them and where the future of our great country is going. Here, here. Oh, this is going to be good. This video is going Australian viral, so, you know, over 20,000 views and counting. And just try to come up with a sentence that is worse than this. Gold Coast Young LNP interview schoolies kids. This is coming from someone who does comedy shows that are thinly veiled economics lectures in Toowoomba. And even I'm saying this. There's a time and a place for politics. And you thought it was sad volunteering for the Red Frogs as schoolies. Imagine trawling around there in Tarrakash asking, Oi, who's a quiet Australian? Any quiet Australians around here? Oh, I just pissed on my friend, he didn't say anything. <laughs> ah, spotted. He won't wake up. Wake up, Jess! So to honor these two fine young gents, and the only reason I'm using gents is because they clearly come from very repressed families, I'll be wearing... <laughs> Just some casual attire that everyone wears at the Gold Coast. You know, that smart casual look that you'd wear if you had a barbecue with a bunch of 40 year olds and you're the only person that's in your 20s. Yeah, everybody's been in that situation, haven't they? I can relate. I can relate to their kids. That guy was not born. He was just scraped off of a few cells of Scott Morrison lactating once inexplicably. They let me out of the test tube a little bit early and spliced my jeans with one of those South American howling toes. See, look at how out of place he looks. He looks like he is dressed exactly the same as Scott Morrison, taking a stroll down Mackay, just seeing what rural Australia has to show. You're in the Gold Coast CBD. You're trying to look inconspicuous to a bunch of 18 year olds. What part of that made you think maybe I should dress like a 50 year old bureaucrat? Um, so I guess guys, the first question, uh, what do we think of our Prime Minister, Scott Morrison? Bro, I think he's awesome. LNP baby for life. In my heart, you know what it is. Can you imagine how slim the pickings must have been that night if the first people they show are not only pinging, but they're trolling you? ScoMo? ScoMo. He's the real deal? The real deal, baby. Oh, good to hear. Your thoughts? No, I, I actually believe he's not. He doesn't want to help the fires. All Please, he sends stop is it. His... Stop. <laughs> See, she lost it in shot. There is someone that edited this because they have music going dick, dang, 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 with shots of Woolworths, mad, and then they've got this woman in shot pissing herself laughing that this guy's going, yeah, yeah, I love the LMP. Uh, can I have some more bumper stickers, please, dude? A, sir, you're a legend. B, it is very impressive that you can be fucked out of your mind and still take the young liberals for a ride. Good bloke. I feel like he's smart enough to run the country, so... Yeah. I think he's alright. He's alright? Right? Yeah, he's... Well, I'm a bit of a lefty myself. Um, I'm a bit of a leftist when it comes to some economics. Yeah? Are you? Because you've got that hills have eyes kind of look that a lot of young liberals have and... Oh, now it makes sense. You're a plant. The only things I know about this is this video and that picture. Isn't it incredible that when the young liberals are on the Gold Coast during schoolies, a melting pot of 18 year olds, they can only fill in five minutes of footage if they interview plants and people that are making fun of them. Need I remind you, the Gold Coast is in Queensland. In 20 years time, the liberals are f***ed. But I gotta say, ScoMo's almost swayed my vote. And he's about to do it the next election because I reckon a bloke that can win the unwinnable election it speaks volumes of his character and the kind of uh, tenacity that he's... Man, we should have just let that play for two seconds longer because that's all it takes to deduce that this guy is the 2019 version of... Bill Shorten even wants to go to war with someone like me. He just wants to get ahead through an investment property. So I reckon we should just see it through and stick with the current mob for a while. I don't know if anyone's noticed this yet, but that man is so indoctrinated, he has Channel 9 on his shorts. Agree or disagree with this phrase, all right? If you have a go, you get a go. Agree or disagree? 
Good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you young liberals being down with the youth. What do you reckon about this focus group tested slogan? Agree or disagree? We as Aussies absolutely toil. We deserve everything we get. That is Australia in a nutshell, isn't it? I work me ass off. What are you doing? Getting smashed. No well, it's all about a hand up, not a hand out, isn't it? Too right. Well, that always proves something about liberal voters that I suspected. Whatever they're fed, as long as it's got that brand under it, fine. You can't expect a hand up. Well, what you should get is a hand up, but not a hand out. Yeah, okay. Oh, I say I agree. Agree? agree? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. 100%. Yeah, agree. 100%. Uh, you get rewarded for what your hard work is. That's, that's just common sense. Yeah. Fuck that is sinister. That is how the Liberals win elections, isn't it? They just repeat these slogans and they don't allow anybody to add any nuance to it because they have a clinch hold on the media. So they say some truism like, do you believe in having a go? Yeah, I think you should probably exude effort. Good, then there's only one man for you. ScoMo. No one else in Parliament agrees that hard work should be rewarded. The Australian national anthem, the Australian national yeah. flag. What do you reckon? Is this something that you like? Oh, very yeah, English. I honestly don't yeah, even know the whole Australian You support it? Yeah. Yeah. And, why, and why is this something that you support? Well, this definitely should have been left in the final cut, shouldn't it? Four slurred drunk teenagers. <laughs> yeah, too right. And yet they still managed to be the second, third, fourth, and fifth best people in this video. Commendable. Don't know the national anthem? No, never seen that. What's the opening lyrics? Do we know? No, I don't. Yeah. Uh, uh, three joints. Oh, we are. Yeah. Are you from Are you from New Zealand or something? Australia. No, just lip sync that shit at school. <sighs> Why put that in? Why show you very nervously going? Come on, you know the words. All right. What are your thoughts? Um, Australian national flag and national anthem. Keep it or ditch it. Ditch it. Uh, land down under for sure. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Personally, I'm fed up with having all these sports stars stand out on our, our stages and not sing the national anthem. Mm -hmm. They're putting our Australian jumper on. They're going to sing the anthem. Oh, yeah, too right. That is a reason that you should vote for a federal government. Something happened in sport that you don't like. Could that federal government do anything about it? Nope. Triggered. I mean, we got to stop celebrating a culture that couldn't even invent the bloody wheel, for God's sake. Whoa. He's not, uh, he is not joking. That is his legitimate opinion. Well, look at it this way, champ. Most people can't pinpoint the exact second that their political career unraveled. What's traditional, you keep. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what the past is, it's what the present right. is. It's what you make of it. Exactly. So. Oh, it unifies us, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's what we know, it's what it is. Yeah. It's what we all are. See... They don't know what function they are in the machine, right? I mean, at least George Brandis knows what cog he is. These guys just repeat all of these culture talking points. Flag, date, anthem, try. That's Power's little game, making you focus on all these bullshit little cultural points for decades on end. And what's scary is this guy wanted to go into politics and he thinks it is politics. If he lasted a few more years, he would have been proud to die on that hill. Flag, discuss. What do you reckon? Should, should you be able to say what you think and what you want? Yes. Depends the circumstances. If it's yeah. See, this is their other talking point. Every time, free speech. Can't say anything you want to say anymore. What do you want to say? I don't know, some thinly veiled shit I read on 4chan and after a couple of drinks, the only thing that disappears is the veil. Dude, no one except a few sad fucks on Twitter care what you say except your beloved party. They are disciplining you for what you say. Party of free speech? Yeah, the ones that try to reintroduce sedition laws. That's the party that stands up for your right to say what you want, when you want, unless it's about the king! After the video was taken down, you know who dutifully upheld free speech by keeping it up? The Young Greens. Time to switch parties, mate! Well guys, that's pretty much it for tonight, so thank you very much for, for taking part and good to see you. Enjoy the gold, mate. <laughs> Yeah, look, I have made a career out of being gratuitously nasty to people, and even I think that this guy has had enough. <laughs> but what's a guy to do? You take this video down, you try to bury it, a bunch of other sites pick it up. Have you seen this channel? I have OCD for this shit. I've got to do it. But guys, that man is an internet laughing stock and all his dreams were crushed in the space of five minutes and
Oh, no, he's a young liberal. F*** him. <laughs> Please share and... We're not finishing the video that way. We can't finish the video that way. Why? It's just too slack, man. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, no, I've, I've gone too far, haven't I? All right, all right. Okay, look, look. Like the video. Say something actually positive about that, man. I'll give out a love heart to everybody who does say something that is legitimately nice. And if you had fun, upvote this. Yeah, I did. I certainly had a lot of fun with this. Thank you very much, LMP Gold Coast, for the free content. You are truly the party that keeps on giving. Cheers for keeping me in a job. You are job creators, aren't you? That's very nice. So just, you know, dust off those bruises. You'll be fine. You can always get a good career in real estate. And while you're here, why don't you watch something of substance, like a bushfire video or something? Or, you know, school snacks. See you next week. Please share and comment below. Come in.